Okay, everyone, we're back. I'm so sorry. Somebody it looks like somebody else has logged in on that link, and uh, I really do apologize for that. I'm just going to try and get the live back up on here so I can see all your comments. Um, I'm not really sure what happened. <laughs> it's a little bit frustrating. That's okay. Um, here we go. So hopefully come on back to us so we can finish off today's show. And, um, you know, I'm really very grateful. As I said, thank you so much for coming back on. I'm not sure who's here yet. Please let me know. I'd love to know. I really am very apologetic for that. It, the link just dropped out, so I have no idea what was going on. Um, we were talking about those blocks and those financial blocks. Um, hi, Trish. Welcome. How are you? And, uh, you know, that financial um, question that um, you had was all about being able to move forward and, you know, moving on from that. And, you know, I really do hope that uh, we are all back on track. Okay, so what have we got? Mandy, yes, Mandy, hi, thanks for coming back. And Cherie, thank you for joining us. Very grateful for having you here. So we were talking about those um, financial blocks which could be stored from even a previous life. Um, you know, the lineage cords that we bring into this life with us are already embodied within us. And, you know, it's not the energy, it's not necessarily your energy that you want to hold on to. It's actually come from a previous place and so it can be easily released um, when you look at how that um, trigger, how that's triggered in your life and what um, what events uh, come up for you around that and also how um, how your communication how the quality of the communication around financial situations uh, were when you were growing up and has that added more layers to your um, inner inner self that you need to move through to um, get the layers opened up and released. You know, limitations and blocks continue to show up no matter where we are in life. And, you know, like I said, the layers are packed down, they're suppressed, and they're really quite challenging sometimes to even know what they are or where they come from. So um, hi, Barbara, thanks for coming in. Hi, Sylvia, thanks for joining us. Um, so, you know, there's so many things there that can relate to that. Um, and they really do create those um, self-worth issues that you might have later on in life. They'll show up in, um, you know, your uh, weight, uh, whether you have issues losing weight, in your confidence, just being able to move forward, um, ongoing ailments that are actually being created through to those uh, previous um, conditioning that you've had and understanding how to um, move through that. So sometimes it's just the fear of um, holding on to money. I know recently I've been doing a process with a group and um, sometimes, you know, when you... <laughs> Just a little bit, I, I've been in a situation where I've been absolutely destitute in a marriage where I left and I had not even a dollar in my, in my purse to get to where I needed to go. And, you know, it took a long time to build back up from there. I also was um, handed the debt that was left from him, uh, all sorts of things. So, you know, and then, you know, making the money and, and being up here and then dropping again, falling down because of a situation um, or making bad choices, which at the end of the day, everything's about a choice. And then, you know, having the money again and investing in property and really being quite successful and, you know, then losing it all again um, through making bad choices. So what is the problem that keeps going on there? Sometimes it's the fear of being able to hold on to money because of what it may um, create for you in life. And it's not a fear of the success, but it's a fear of something else. So there's those ongoing sabotaging um, behaviours that 
um, create these um, situations that are current in our life so and cause the struggles that we're trying to work through. So I hope that makes sense. I'm having the butterflies behind you. Oh, I love it. <laughs> Kaz, thank you. I love my butterflies too. They're, um, it's actually just like a wall tapestry. If you, if you, um, if you uh, Google wall tapestry, then it's really amazing what can come through from there. So, you know, they've got all sorts of things and it's really quite amazing. So thank you for that. Um, able to give me a Facebook page. Mandy, absolutely. Um, I will just grab that for you now. Give me a second. Sorry, we'll get rid of that. I'm just going to pull this up here for you because um, it'll just take me a moment. Uh, okay, here is the link for you. Now I can't find my live. I've disappeared off the face of the earth. <laughs> oh my goodness, there we are. Hopefully there we are. Um, uh, just go back. There you go, Mandy. There's my Facebook page, so feel free to message me through that. That's perfect. Um, Wendy, hi. Uh, Sylvia, Barbara, thank you so much for joining me. Karen, um, Kaz, uh, Robin, thank you for joining us. Hi, this is a surprise. I'm glad you like it, I think. <laughs> um, Butterflies are awesome, yeah. Look, a very conscious decision. Again, my business was a really conscious decision to um, move into the name and the colours and all of that because I wanted to do this business with great intent and so that's why everything that I do do is very conscious and I'm very aware. That's why I like to um, offer that information to people and just help them through because it's so important to do that. So, you know, it's a really important part of my business. So that, yeah, it's just amazing. When you can tap into those areas as well, it, you know, can develop so much more. And I know that people are looking at, you know, particularly in business, that you have to spend money to actually receive the results that you want. And while that's partially true, are you spending the money in the right areas? And this comes down to personal life as well. You know, are you spending money um, unnecessarily? What are you doing to create um, that saving ability and creating increase in your life? There's so many things that come from that. So, you know, if you're not spending it in the right areas of your life, then that can come back to the self-sabotage and, you know, including financial, um, in your relationships, in your love situations, um, you know, relationships, when I talk about relationships, I mean general relationships with businesses and, you know, um, in your network and, you know, your friendships that you have with people, they're all relationships. But your love interest relationships can also be sabotaged because of certain things that you've taken on, even if it's not your energy. So when you tap into all those areas of your life and you become very aligned or line all your little ducks up, you can really start to overcome the challenges that you have regardless of whether they are mental, physical, emotional or spiritual. You know, honouring your higher self. Um, you deserve that, you know, creating things for the greater good, um, you know, giving to, uh, giving to people to be able to serve them, um, you know, is important. And if you're not taking enough time out of your life to be able to reconnect with yourself, with your inner power, and really stepping into your true self, then your vibrational frequency and energy will not be raised high enough to the, um, find that success that you're really looking for. And, you know, there's some really easy processes that we work through, um, you know, both in, you know, my programs, but also in my five-day challenge. So my five-day, my, 
sorry, my five day challenge, you know, I can put the link up for that as well a little bit later on. If you're interested in that, I'd love to know how you're feeling about that. Hi, Nathan. Um, <laughs> spend it in nature. Yeah. What, uh, what, what foundations are being aligned to? I'm um, not sure I totally understand what you mean by that question. Can you uh, elaborate a little bit more on that for me, Nathan, please? Um, if, you know, what I'm thinking is, you know, we align all areas of our life, our mental, our physical, our emotional and our spiritual self. And all those areas must be aligned in order for us to actually create what we want successfully. Otherwise, we're often just missing that mark. And by missing that mark, it means that you may be creating either uh, less than what you want, um, you may be sabotaging yourself in a way that um, you know, you're not aware of consciously because you haven't tapped into that conscious awareness. So all of these things can make a massive difference and it's really important that you understand that. So I'm not sure if that's answered your question. Um, you know, if you've got something specific, please, um, please uh, clarify that with me and I'm happy to answer that for you. Okay, so, you know, any questions, please write them down. I'd love to know, you know, how you're feeling about today's show. I also highly recommend that you journal what you want to achieve. You know, sometimes this can start with just writing down a word and expanding that into a sentence. And then you can start the visualization process of what you want. Um, you know, the words that actually mean something in relation to what you're trying to achieve. Um, and expanding the words into that sentence, like I said, and start, you know, find those pictures that really um, resonate what that means for you and represent what you really want and be very clear about it. And when you start to journal and really pick up those, um, uh, you know, the, the um, picture that you're getting in your head, the visualisation that you're looking at, it's really important to start putting the feelings and the emotions that go with that. So, you know, um, depending on what you want, if somebody wants to type in a quick example, that'd be great. Um, what realms are being tapped into? Well, you're tapping into your inner self. You're looking at where these triggers are coming from that are, are helping you to sabotage, um, you know, what it is that you're aiming for that you're not able to reach and uh, we're raising it to just our vibrational frequency where all energy, everything is energy, money is energy, um, you know, relationships are energy, everything is energy. So that, that alignment really does come back to being able to understand what your triggers are, consciously tapping into where they come from and being able to release those. And as you release what's holding you back, then your vibrational energy lifts. So it, it's, you know, just about every, everything being energy and being able to raise that to a higher level as you increase yourself. Um, so I hope that answers the question for you. Um, what what particularly are you after, Elizabeth? I'm happy to help you out with something if you have it. I find if I'm cars, I find if I meditate outside, I feel better, and say it's because I'm grounding. Yeah, totally, totally, um, a lot more peaceful. The money is in, model is failing. Mm, I'm not sure what you mean by that, Nathan. Um, If you're talking about, you know, cash is not always going to be king, um, I think it depends on where you're at and everybody has their own feelings and emotions around that. And while, you know, there's a lot of people doing cryptocurrency, if that's what you're referring to, um, if that's for you, then that's fantastic. I know that I know some people who are doing really well with that. And, uh, you know, I, I have no objections to that. And I'm all, also very open to, um, 
you know, passive income streams. So, you know, cryptocurrency is definitely one of those avenues. So writing things down, Kaz, is that like, yes. So writing everything down so that you can visualise everything and then you can go to a vision board and actually put it all up when you've got it all set. Hi, Michelle. How are you going? There's more to money like peace, lowering vibration. is very important to tap into magnetic white light. Mm, okay. Energy is electric, creates friction and heat. Okay. Kaz. Can triggers go back to early childhood or even past generations? Absolutely. We would need to heal the past to get the right go. Yeah, yeah, totally agree. So that's where sometimes those, um, you know, when I talk about the lineage generations uh, that come into this life with us, that's not your energy to hold on to. And if that, and, and that's why it's really important to work with healers um, to tap into that and clean all that out and it really does work wonders um, when you're able to get rid of that and it may just feel so much lighter when those things happen so really really important and you know early childhood yeah absolutely there's um, some stuff there I know you know even when I've worked with clients they've gone back so far that they're actually in the womb and able to understand things that occurred during that time that they've had to then go back and have a conversation about to try and um, try and tap into the um, reasons behind that, or not the reasons, but try and understand exactly um, what the meaning behind that was so they're able to actually then move forward. So, yeah, so many different things. So, um, <clears throat> you know, and it's really important also when you're capitalizing on those emotions and feelings when you're doing that that vision um, visualization of what you want that it um, raises your vibrational energy up a level just having those um, emotions and feelings while you're doing that and it will really help you to manifest more into your life remember manifestation though it's not just about asking the universe and having it come back it's not just about doing a a vision board and hoping that it all comes through exactly how you want it to. It's really important to understand that that um, all takes, all comes into your life through taking action. And there are steps that are required to actually bring that in. So it's not just going to happen for you if you're going to sit back and say, I really want the universe to bring me this. Uh, there's certain steps you have to take in order to do that. So nothing will happen on its own. There are, however, many ways that you can um, create small action steps in order to open up those opportunities for you. So remember the universe can speak to us in very unusual ways and the opportunities don't always come in the package that you expect. So it's really important to know that. You know, if you um, really want to ask yourself, um, have you ever felt like something just doesn't sit right? You know, if you can write yes or no in the comments, that would be great. And if, you know, if you're aware of where that comes from as well. So if there's something when you're in a crowd, um, at a meeting, in a group of, um, you know, with a group of people, is there a time that you have taken um, out to consciously tap into your inner self and locate the feeling or emotion that you're feeling because that can really help to raise your vibration as well. So, you know, I would love to see some questions come out, um, get out what you put in. Absolutely. No, I'm not an Aries, Nathan. I'm a Sagittarian on the cusp of uh, Scorpio. So, yeah, not an Aries, definitely not an Aries. Um, can't just sit on the lounge and expect things to happen. No, that's right. So thank you, Kaz. I, I uh, applaud your um, interaction that we're having here. So, okay, so were you aware of what those triggers were then when you realised that you were tapping into something that wasn't quite right? You know, did it come through for you? Were you intuitive um, in in um, not just within yourself, but when you're out with other people? Do you protect your energy when you're out and stop other 
entities from attaching itself to you. There's so many different things. Um, you know, when you have full control of your life, and let's face it, everything that you do and every situation that you're in in this moment is through having control of the choices that you make. So there's really um, no reason for us to blame others for the situation we're in because we've made choices in our life no matter how far back that have brought us to this space. And, uh, you know, it's really important to understand that. So, you know, are you in full control of your life and are you taking um, your thought processes into a space where you'll be, you know, which are creating your behaviours resulting in your action steps and, you know, resulting in what you're actually achieving. So it's really important to know that that's all part of it as well. And, you know, like we talked earlier about the automated actions like breathing, um, you know, the subconsciousness is part of that. So it's really important to understand what your thought process is. You know, you, you can really intercept your thoughts. You can intercept a thought to stop you from taking action in a certain way. And you have um, Mel Robbins. If you Google Mel Robbins, she's got an amazing YouTube um, video up there that talks about that. Um, power to intercept your thoughts and it's a five second window to stop think about that change the thought and move forward into um, a different action to create a different result and that's a massive improvement on where you may have been previously if you can do that and stop yourself from thinking or stop yourself from being in autopilot when a thought comes in actually tap into those thoughts because that can make a massive difference as well. Really big, really big changes. Um, you know, we talked about the lineage um, cords that come into our lives that influence us and, you know, it really is um, important to identify who owns that energy. All of this gives us the cause and effect and polarity, both um, excellent tools for growth and expansion of our human consciousness. When we die, our spirit leaves our soul and our soul is reclothed into another spirit. And this is how we pick up the lineage cords from previous generations. So, and this is sometimes how our conditioning is developed and, you know, influenced by those generational cords. Um, you know, sometimes you might even think about um, something or take an action or do something that you sort of go, I don't even know why I do that. I don't even know where that comes from. It's because it's perhaps from a previous generational lineage that is, you know, something that, that you really want to be looking at and understanding further. So, you know, understanding that and knowing that sometimes those things aren't yours, then you can sometimes, um, you know, it, it's really important to know that you can release that. It's like a default. It's like your go-to when things happen um, without even thinking. So I'd love to know what your thoughts and comments are on this. That would be amazing. Um, when was the last time you felt like you had full control over your life? You know, do you feel like you're in full control of your life now? Or what do you think is your biggest distraction from keeping that control in your daily life and from raising that vibration? I would love to know. I've started to realise some triggers that can make me, yeah, angry person and how I tap in, tap, and now tap on my fingers to calm myself and let that wonderful yeah and look it all takes time it really does cause nothing happens overnight and you know consistency and persistence really does pay off i can tell you that for sure yeah what are we looking at here you know there's um so much more i wanted to talk about today but i'm just going to skip through my notes quite don't give yourself comparative nidus 
you know, you don't compare yourself to anybody except yourself. You are, it's really important to understand that you're, um, you're only in competition with yourself. As long as you bring out a better version of yourself each and every day, then nobody else matters. There is nobody else that can compete against you because you're your unique self. There is absolutely no way you can be anyone else or and there's no way they can be you. So that's a really important process to understand as well. What are you doing on a daily basis that interferes with your what you believe is your vibrational energy? What is the one thing that you can change in your daily life that you think might raise your vibration? So that's really important. And, you know, I mentioned earlier my five-day challenge. I'd love to have you come on board to that. Um, I will put a link up to that and uh, give you a date that that's starting. I will come back to that later on today, though. Um, and, you know, at the start of each day, write down 10 things that you're grateful for and really express them with passion. You know, it's not just a matter of reading through a list of what you're grateful for. It feels like I take one step forward and two back in many aspects of my life. That's very interesting, Kaz. I, I'd love to be able to help you out with that. And, you know, my five-day challenge can certainly uh, find ways to do that for you. Um, happy to have a chat with you if that's what you prefer. There's so many options open that, you know, I, I'm here to serve. I'm, you know, for me to be able to serve my clients, my audience, my, um, you know, the people that come on and support me, that's my number one priority. It, it, you know, that's what matters to me. So writing down those 10 things every morning and, you know, they may be different things each day. It doesn't matter. But find what's going to be appropriate on that day for you and at the end of each day, write down three lows that occurred in your day and finish with three highs. Really important to finish on the high. Even bad days have highs. You know, not everybody agrees with that, but they really do. The bad days, there's something you can take away from that. It's a lesson. It's an opportunity to learn. Um, really important to take that away. So... Um, no one else will be a better you. Yep, absolutely. I totally agree. Roxy, hi, Roxy. Meditation, love it. Yeah, perfect. So, you know, as I was saying, those, uh, those hard days, find something, you know, even if it's how can I do that better if that happens again? You know, you don't want to um, come away from it even a bad day where you really struggle, oops, there goes my phone, I'm sorry, to, um, you know, move forward and really be able to pick up on that. So um, you are a limitless, extraordinary person who really deserves to be valued and you are worthy of having a beautiful life. Join me on my five-day challenge. Like I said, it's a balance of business through frequency alignment where you'll become a lifetime member of a closed Facebook group if you register for the challenge. I've also got a four-week, one-and-a-half-hour coaching program um, per week, one-and-a-half hours per week, which is all about awakening your inner power and that's really quite powerful for some of those processes we talked about. If you're interested in any of those, my face, my Facebook page is above. I'm just going to pop that in again so that anybody who is interested in joining me for that, please, please, um, you know, let me know, message me, whatever it is that you want from this. Thank you, Kaz. I really appreciate you being here. You've been wonderful today. And, you know, I'm here every Friday at 12 o'clock and I'm happy to share insight, answer questions, interact with you all and really give you some uh, guidance. So that's what I'm about. Until next week, have an absolutely extraordinary week. I'll talk to you all soon. Bye for now.